Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Welcome back, everybody. We're still running just slightly above normal for the month, 0.5 degrees, half a degree above normal, but cold, way cold weather will end the month. So we're actually going to end February colder than normal, not by a lot, by a couple tenths of a degree, but it will be technically colder than normal for the month of February. As a matter of fact, near record cold uh, on the last day of the month, the leap day coming up on Saturday morning. It's only fitting if you're going to have cold weather, you got snow. So we have a winter weather advisory for a lot of the area north. This goes all the way up towards South Bend, Fort Wayne, all the way to St. Louis locally. It includes all of the shaded counties, which would be all of our north counties. This is from about midnight tonight till midnight tomorrow night. Most of this will happen during the morning, early afternoon hours tomorrow with some snow. And there'll be a little wind as well with this and the heavier snows to the north. We'll talk snowfall totals here in just a little bit. But as we've been telling you, we thought we'd see at least a little snow out of this system. 42 the high today, 38 the low so far. We're actually at 38 now. Temperatures are starting to drop as we get ready to move some snow into the area. Not much rain today, only 0 .07, so technically we're still drier than normal for the month, but we're going to add some to that with some snow coming in during the day for tomorrow. Here's what we got with sunrise, sunset tomorrow, 11 hours, 11 minutes of daylight, River Stage in Terre Haute, 11.7 feet, and it is on the way down. Right now at the airport in Terre Haute, down to 39. Winds are north at 9. Pressure will start to fall a little bit more as our next area of low pressure moves this way. You can see the colder weather to the north where we have the advisory. It's still in the 40s south and off to the north. We're into the 30s right now. Our little disturbance is spinning down here across the southern plains, and that's going to come up this way as we head through tonight and into the day tomorrow. They're already seeing snow, and this has been fairly heavy bursts of snow in Kansas today, and there's some wind, so it's reducing visibility. So not only are we talking about at least some snow tomorrow, but the wind's going to pick up. So whether or not you get much that actually sticks to the ground, the wind will blow that around a little bit as it's falling. So that'll probably reduce visibilities at times tomorrow as well. Tonight, not much going on locally. Most of it has moved to the north for the time being. There's the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar off to the north and west of this area. But around here, just some really light rain or some drizzle. This will transition overnight as colder air moves in. So we'll stop the clock for you around 3 a.m. Much of the area will go over to just snow by that point. This should peak during the late morning, early afternoon. So say around noon, pretty good, especially north and east of the area, a little bit heavier. But I think much of us will be looking at at least some snow during the day tomorrow. This will taper off by tomorrow night. I would say by the time it gets dark easily, if not a little bit before. Behind that, cold and dry weather as we head into Thursday with temperatures running you know, 10 to 15 degrees below normal to wrap up this month, and that's why the month will be colder than normal. Snowfall forecast, you can see the shaded areas here I have, which will be near Paris and say up towards about Newport and North. Two to four, I think the fours are closer to Interstate 74, but two to four, right through the heart of the area, about one to two, closer to one south, closer to two north, but you get the idea, I-70 either side an inch, maybe two in the north, and then south of that, a little under an inch. So we're not talking about a whole lot, but we are talking some snow, probably a few slick areas, a little reduced visibility because of the wind, so, you know, winter's not over yet. The wind will also be an issue, so you can see by tomorrow, we'll stop this at one in the afternoon. We're talking about winds 15 to 20 miles per hour, and it will stay breezy into the day Thursday as well. So not only is it going to be cold, there's also going to be chill in the air. So here's your forecast then for tonight. Rain changing to snow as the night wears on, dropping to 32. Tomorrow, snow, breezy and cold, a high of only 35. After that, cold weather as we head into the upcoming weekend. As a matter of fact, we're talking near record cold on Saturday morning, warming back up as we go into Saturday, with a, or make that Monday with a high of 57. That's your forecast. Sports coming up right after the break.